Who rules over the river? Is it the crocodile or the alligator? Which of the two powerful animals would win in a fight? That is the question we are going to answer today. So stay tuned until the end. Crocodiles and alligators are both reptiles belonging to the order Crocodilia, but they are found in distinct geographical regions and habitats. Crocodiles are commonly found in tropical and subtropical regions around the world. They inhabit freshwater environments, including rivers, lakes, and wetlands. There are many different species of crocodiles. Nile crocodiles are widespread in various freshwater habitats across Africa. They are found in rivers, lakes, and marshes, adapting to both freshwater and brackish water. Saltwater crocodiles, the largest of all crocodile species, are found in northern Australia. They inhabit estuaries, mangrove swamps and coastal areas and are known to venture into salt water. The estuarine crocodile is found in the brackish waters of Southeast Asia, Northern Australia and the Indian subcontinent. Marsh crocodiles are found in freshwater habitats in parts of South Asia. American crocodiles are found in parts of Southern Florida, Mexico, Central America and Northern South America. They inhabit coastal areas, brackish water lagoons, and occasionally venture into salt water. Alligators are native to the southeastern United States, with their range extending from North Carolina to Texas and into parts of Oklahoma. They inhabit freshwater environments, including swamps, lakes, rivers, and marshes. The Chinese alligator is found in eastern China, primarily in slow-moving rivers and marshes. This species is critically endangered, and conservation efforts are in place to protect its habitat. American alligators are primarily found in the southeastern United States. Their range includes freshwater environments such as swamps, marshes, rivers, lakes, and ponds. Crocodiles are generally more adaptable to salt water environments and can be found in coastal areas and estuaries. Alligators are more freshwater oriented but can tolerate brackish conditions for short periods. Now let me give you some information about their size and snout shape. Crocodiles generally have a more V-shaped or pointed snout. The snout is elongated and narrows towards the tip. This snout shape is adapted for catching a variety of prey, including fish, mammals and birds. It allows for a more generalized hunting approach. Alligators have a broader U-shaped snout. The snout is wider and more rounded, especially towards the end. The U-shaped snout is an adaptation for a diet that includes larger, more heavily armored prey like turtles. It is a more specialized tool for capturing specific types of prey. Crocodile species exhibit a wide range of sizes. Some crocodile species, like the saltwater crocodile, can reach immense sizes, making them the largest living reptiles. Adult males can reach lengths of up to 5.2 meters on average, but there have been reports of individuals exceeding 6 meters. Siamese crocodiles, on the other hand, are a relatively small crocodile species in comparison to the saltwater crocodile. Adult Siamese crocodiles typically measure between 1.8 to 3 meters in length. Males are often larger than females in many crocodile species. Alligators are generally smaller than the largest crocodile species. The American alligator, one of the most well-known species, usually reaches lengths of up to 3 to 4.5 meters. While males are typically larger, the size difference is less pronounced than in some crocodile species. Crocodiles often have lighter coloration, ranging from tan and brown to gray. This coloration helps them blend into their surroundings, particularly in habitats with lighter colored mud or sand. Alligators tend to have darker coloration, usually ranging from dark brown to black. The darker coloration is advantageous for camouflage in the murky waters of their habitats. To determine which of the two animals would win in a fight, we also need to take a closer look at their bite force and their aggression. The saltwater crocodile is considered to have one of the strongest bite forces among living animals. While specific measurements vary, some estimates suggest that the bite force of a large saltwater crocodile can exceed 3,700 pounds per square inch. Nile crocodiles also have a formidable bite force. Their bite force is estimated to be around 2,000 pounds per square inch or more. 
While the American alligator has a powerful bite, it generally has a lower estimated bite force compared to some large crocodile species. The bite force of an American alligator is estimated to be around 2,125 pounds per square inch. The differences in bite force are influenced by factors such as species size and jaw structure. Crocodiles are often perceived as more aggressive compared to alligators. They are known to be highly territorial and may aggressively defend their territory against intruders, including other crocodiles. Crocodiles are opportunistic predators and are known for their patience in hunting. They often employ a stealthy approach, waiting for the right moment to launch a powerful ambush on their prey. Alligators are generally considered to be less aggressive than crocodiles. They are often described as more docile and less prone to aggression towards each other and other species. They are known for their sit-and-wait hunting strategy, where they patiently wait for prey to come within striking distance. In a hypothetical fight between a crocodile and an alligator, the perceived differences in aggression levels might play a crucial role. The more aggressive nature of crocodiles could potentially give them an edge in initiating or responding to a confrontation. Crocodiles, with their reputation for aggression and powerful bites, might employ a more confrontational fighting strategy. Alligators, being less aggressive, might rely on evasion or defensive maneuvers to avoid direct conflict. But not only their aggression plays a crucial role in deciding who would win in a fight, but also their defense mechanisms. Both crocodiles and alligators possess various protective features that contribute to their survival and defense against potential threats. These features include scales, armor, and specific defensive behaviors. Crocodiles have thick, bony scales covering their bodies, providing a robust form of armor. The dorsal or back scales are particularly pronounced and serve as a protective layer against physical injury. Beneath the skin, Crocodiles have bony plates known as osteoderms that act as additional protection. Osteoderms are embedded in the dermal layers and provide structural support to the skin, especially in areas prone to impact. The tail of a crocodile is muscular and powerful. In a defensive situation, a crocodile may use its tail to deliver forceful strikes or create a protective barrier by swiping it from side to side. A common defensive strategy is to submerge in water, where crocodiles are highly adapted. They may lie in wait underwater, concealed by vegetation, ready to ambush any potential threat. Alligators, like crocodiles, have tough, scaly skin covering their bodies, providing protection against abrasions and attacks. The scales on the back are more pronounced and act as a form of natural armor. Alligators also possess bony plates or osteoderms beneath their skin enhancing the protective capabilities of their armor. Alligators may bury themselves in mud or vegetation, leaving only their eyes and nostrils exposed. This provides a defensive cover and allows them to observe their surroundings without being easily detected. Alligators may produce hissing sounds and loud bellows as part of defensive displays. These vocalizations serve to intimidate potential threats and communicate territorial boundaries but now the all-important question arises, crocodile or alligator, who dominates in this fight? If we assume it's a fight between an adult male saltwater crocodile and an adult male American alligator, I have to hand the crown to the crocodile. The saltwater crocodile has a size advantage and also has a much higher bite force, which allows it to inflict significantly more lethal injuries. Saltwater crocodiles also have stronger jaws and are more aggressive which can be advantageous in a fight. However, if we compare a Nile crocodile with an alligator, the fight is much more balanced. Both species are very similar in terms of size and bite force. The decisive factor is therefore which type of crocodile competes against the alligator. A Siamese crocodile, for example, could have problems defeating an alligator because it's much smaller and has a way lower bite force compared to other crocodile species or an alligator. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more animal versus animal videos, then check out this playlist and consider subscribing to not miss any new videos. Until next time.